If you missed our last couple of videos, we are in Texas right now and we're on our way west. The next stop is gonna be New Mexico. We've been borrowing Allison's car for the last three weeks while we've been in Texas, and so we forgot and pulled up on the wrong side of the bus because we forgot which side the fill up is on. I guess we gotta adjust back to living on the road in our bus. After looking at the weather in New Mexico, I think we're really gonna need this diesel for the heater because it's the lows are like 20 or 22 degrees, which uh, we're not really planning on bringing our bus to anything below freezing, but uh, here we are. Good to be back on the road. <laughs> it really so we're passing through the town of Muleshoe. So we're still in Texas, but we need to stop for lunch. I think someone forgot to empty her water bottle before she put it in here. And now our cabinet's like flooded. Oh man. Uh, this is the second time this has happened. Well at least there's a rag in here, but this thing is soaking wet. No! Look at this. That's all from your water bottle. Oh, man. Ugh. Jimmy's water bottle has a lid on it, and mine doesn't. So, I forgot, since we haven't been on the road for so long, I forgot that I have to drink all of my water before we put it in the cabinet, or it's gonna spill. Sorry, Jimmy. It's okay. Tumbleweed on the playground. We stopped in Muleshoe for lunch. We found this place on the map before we even got into Texas because there is a free RV park here. You can stay for three nights. There's electrical hookups, water hookups, a dump station, everything. And it's just totally free. So we've had this on our list for a while, but after staying in Texas for so long already, we decided that we're not gonna stay here for even one night. I think we're just gonna drive through, but there also is apparently the world's largest mule shoe. We couldn't completely miss this place, but we are just gonna stop for only a lunch. It is super windy though. We were gonna eat outside, but I don't know if you can hear it, but it is mega windy again today. So we've chickened out and we're gonna eat inside. Still a good view though. Well, this is a really cute park, and I'm kind of sad to say that we're just gonna move on. It's just such a windy day, and we've kind of got a lot of ground that we wanna to cover today. This should be our last stop in Texas if everything goes well. I think the next time we stop, we'll be in New Mexico. No spills this time. farthest west I've ever been in my life. I gotta say there's a lot of cows here. I wasn't expecting that quite this many. I thought we were leaving Texas. very suddenly just changed. We were going through pastures and fields of hay, and then suddenly we're just driving down this canyon. It's really cool. This is kind of what I expected New Mexico to be like, but we've been driving for about an hour. It's really different. It took us by surprise. Like the terrain just completely shifted on a dime. Well, that was fun. Yeah. That was a nice way to cool down the bus too. So we found a cute little city park on iOverlander that we were gonna stay here overnight, and we drove nonstop to get here, and there's no diesel gas station here. 
Okay, to be fair, there is one and we're sitting in it right now. It's a Valero, but we're at the only diesel pump and both of the diesel pumps are marked off saying out of service. So we don't really know what to do. So I'm gonna go inside and ask um, to see if there's any other gas stations around here. I would look it up, but we have no service out here. Kind of dead in the water until uh, we find out where to go. Because I am nervous that we've run through all our diesel. Okay, so they do have diesel. It's just in the back. Um, it's the same one that the trucks use. So this will be interesting. I've never used it before. I had to give them my card and they're supposed to hold on to it until I go back there. Then they'll approve me and then they'll uh, let me get diesel from the back. So I don't know how that's how truck drivers do it, but maybe it is. I don't know. Oh gosh. Yay, problem solved. I hope so. Problem <laughs> solved. Uh -huh. Oh, there's a tumbleweed. Oh boy. Fuel Island, what the heck? Like Survival Island, but Fuel Island. <laughs> I'm excited because I just learned that these little stations are apparently called Fuel Islands. How cute is that? Never heard that term before, but I love it. Gosh, this one looks like old timey. So we just got to the park where we were planning to stay overnight, and it's really cute. I mean, it's very clear that it allows overnight parking. I think Jimmy's making a friend. Okay, so I talked to another local. Well, she's probably not a local, but I talked to someone else that parked in front of us. She said, this is it. And so I don't think there's anything you have to sign up with. I think you could just show up and stay here overnight. I talked to her a little bit and uh, she said that she actually did not drive here. She was towed here. And it's because she broke down a little while ago. And I asked her if she already knew what the problem was. And she said, it is her fuel pump which is so funny because I told her we just had ours replaced last week. So that's crazy. Wow. It's a small world. What a coincidence. What a coincidence. Poor soul. Yeah, poor soul. She has no idea what's in store for her. Hopefully she has better luck with that than we did because we had kind of a rough experience, but I think it's not supposed to be a big deal. So we moved to a different spot. We're still at the park, but it turns out this place is a little bit sketchier than we thought it would be. There were like a bunch of cars that pulled up and everyone was screaming at each other, like threatening each other. And um, it went on for a little while. So we moved to the other side of the park. We'll probably be fine. It seemed like a personal thing. I just really wanted to stay out of it. So we moved. I do feel a little bit stupid now walking around with our camera. I feel like maybe that wasn't the best idea in hindsight, but I think we'll be okay. I think we're good, right, Jimmy? You feel good? Yeah, I feel good. <laughs> I think they might have been just frustrated because their RV had broken down. I've been there. It's frustrating. <laughs> That's a free RV park for you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you get what you pay for. Our stove is like way more powerful than it should be. This is on the lowest setting and this is the simmer burner. The other burner is supposed to be twice as powerful and uh, it doesn't simmer. It is always just on high. And so what I have to do is hold the pot up here so that it's at a nice low boil. Cause if I set it down on here, it just, it'll burn or, you know, I haven't burned anything yet really, but it just, it gets way too hot and you can't turn it down. And I'll admit Natalie does do most of the cooking around here, but that doesn't mean I don't try to help out. This is, this is usually my job. You got this. You can do it. You're doing so good. Do you need help stirring? Uh -huh. Ah, so tasty. He just makes me drop everything while I'm trying to cook. I'm kidding. I love it. Thank you, Jimmy. I just make sure. I just try to make sure she feels appreciated as she's making my food because it's the it's the least I could do. And honestly, I do kind of feel guilty. I just think cooking's kind of fun, and if I get a shoulder rub whenever I do it, you know, it makes it even better. So dinner's ready. Gosh, this is probably not our most Instagram worthy meal. It's butter noodles from a packet and uh, canned chicken. Um, don't judge us. It's just, it's so easy. It doesn't taste half bad, especially with some Parmesan cheese on it. Good morning guys. Today we woke up and we were able to see the sunrise and that is by no means because we woke up early. That's just because we crossed over to a new time zone last night. 
So that was pretty cool. And we decided to try to make the most of it and use this one chance to actually see the sunrise. Our plans for today involve going swimming and getting in water. And <laughs> it's kind of cold and really, really windy. So I'm not sure how I feel about that, but we gotta push ourselves and it sounds like an adventure. Can't pass it up. While we're in New Mexico, we gotta visit the Blue Hole. I just am starting to regret deciding to do that because I know it's gonna be really cold. <laughs> Thank you, Johnny. You're doing so good. Keep I it know. up. Keep you up the good work. Do you want some extra soap? <laughs> I, can, I can turn that on for you. <laughs> no, but uh, my shoulders really need some work. <laughs> Thank you. Good job, Matt. I sure hope they're open. I don't see anyone out here. There's no one here. I think we might have picked like one of the least popular times to be here. All right, I'm super nervous about where we are, but we're finally here. We are at Santa Rosa's Blue Hole. It's an 80 foot by 80 foot aquifer that leads all the way down to a nest of intertwining passages. They have daily swimming and diving here. We're not doing the diving, but we do want to try to challenge ourselves and do a mini polar plunge. That being said, it's not a real polar plunge. It is 61 degrees year round. So it should be sort of warm, but it is very windy and probably close to 55 degrees outside right now. So I know we're going to be cold. We're freezing when we take a nice hot shower in here and we have to walk outside to the room temperature bus. We made it to the blue hole. There is no one else here. But the nice thing about that is it's free in the winter. I think usually it's like $10 a person, but during the winter, they don't even bother with that. And I can kind of see why, because there's no one here, which is nice for us, because we'll get it to ourselves. But uh, yeah, it's pretty windy. Um, it's pretty cold and the water stays a constant 61 degrees year round. So. Mm. Should be fun. It goes down a hundred feet from where you are. Why is that so scary? I don't know, but it definitely freaks me out. I have trouble like jumping off of a diving board and those are only like two feet off the water. And I think we're gonna jump off of that to start with. So I don't know what we were thinking. I don't like how clear it is. I think that honestly makes it worse because you can see so far down, but you still can't see the bottom. Ugh, I'm getting uh, cold feet. Is that what it's called? I think, yeah. I've got weak <laughs> knees. I'm getting second thoughts about jumping in. Okay. I'm trying to like, keep up my energy, you know? Yeah, I got to keep up your body temperature. <laughs> honestly. Ugh. All right, I'm nervous. I'm nervous. <laughs> All right, let's go get dressed. Let's do it. Let's just dive in. Don't think, just do. Just do. I'm already cold and we're just walking around in shorts. There are people like around here in hoodies. They've got hats on, long pants. They're like bundled up and we're about to get in the water. We're really rethinking our decisions right now. <laughs> we're just really trying to see this as an opportunity to push us out of our comfort zone. Jimmy. Come back. It's too late. <laughs> yes, it's too late. <laughs> All right, our plan is we're gonna wade in first and get used to the water, but not spend too much time. And after that, we're gonna immediately run around and jump in from the 20 foot cliff they've got there. I'm not the strongest swimmer. I'm just a little paranoid about it all. So we're gonna try to play it safe, even though it's a little less exciting. It's still cool, <laughs> right? How is it? It's cold. <laughs> oh, is it? Is it cold? I'm not gonna <laughs> lie to you, it's pretty cold. <laughs> okay. All right, it's cold. Oh! Oh! Starting to chicken out a little. You're not allowed to have flotation devices here, and you have to be able to swim on your own. 
which we can, but like, I'm just worried we're gonna hit the water, forget how to swim, and then sink, and it's 100 feet deep. There's no way to get anyone out. It's scary, you know? Ah. Oh, look how pretty. Very pretty. Look. We should just go back to that where we come and look at things. We don't do anything. Yeah. We just look and type <laughs> photos and then we leave. Our next video is probably certainly gonna be a hike. Let's go. Okay, okay. Okay, there's literally a fish down there right now. Okay, we got it. All right, three, two, one, go. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Do you want to call it? Yeah, I'm, I'm scared you're going to die. I'm scared you're going to die. <laughs> that counted. We got in the blue hole. I'm so cold. Let's run back to the bus. <laughs> I would be running, but I can't feel my feet. Well, we didn't jump in like we had first hoped but I am really happy with what we did do because uh, we did not anticipate it being this cold. When we first walked in, just to get used to it, I could not breathe when it hit my stomach. It was so cold. <laughs> and to make it worse, Natalie was pointing out a fish that was swimming by and it looked like it was coming right towards us. What is that? What's moving in the water? What is that? So that did not help either because I did not know there was wildlife in this water. So that was a surprise too and it all just came at the wrong time. We got all the way down to the lower section Maybe when we visit this place in the summer, we'll actually go to the 100 foot section, but not today, way too cold. We went back for a couple more views and to watch the sunset at the Blue Hole. And um, you guys from around here? We're from South Carolina. We're from Kansas. Oh, cool. I think the kids are about to do it too. Wow. Yeah, they're making us look really bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They completely outdid us. He did not even wait in. He just got up to the front and he dove. Not just jumped, he dove in. Two kids jumped in after that too, which really put us to shame. Yeah, but still, even after seeing all of that, we're not going back or we're not doing it again. There's no way. We gotta work up to stuff like that. I would consider this a polar plunge though but I don't understand how people do this in 38 degree water. <laughs> Something to look forward to if we come back during the summer. I hope you guys had fun with this one. I'm sorry we chickened out. Yeah, you're gonna see a lot of that on this channel. <laughs> I hope not. We might just have to work on our goal setting. I'm still proud of us though, because we got neck deep in freezing cold water. Pretty good for us. We'll get better with time, trust us. <laughs> just stick with us.